So we're going to talk about the chipset and what it does, and we're going to talk about the bus. But so it's confusing. Okay. So the chipset controls the memory and it controls how information goes around the motherboard. Okay. It's what controls the flow of data around the bus. Okay, this That's is the bus. That's a very bus. yellow motherboard. Okay, this is the bus here. Is that a green motherboard? The bus. Is that a green motherboard? The, 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 the chipset controls the information <laughs> moving around there, okay? And can we call it the butt, not the bus? <laughs> like what? finding Nemo, don't touch the, touch the butt. butt. That's a bow. The, the bus. bus. Okay, so the, the bus controls the flow of information around the motherboard, and I have a little graphic okay. there, my picture of the bus. Okay. On the butt. There's two buses. <laughs> There's two buses running on my motherboard. Okay? Look at my cute little graphic I made. Okay? So the schoolhouse is the CPU, okay? It's where everything needs to get. The information needs to get to the CPU. And there's two bus routes. So the children are the information. Okay? Now, the speed, the motherboard has one speed. The road has one speed. There's not a speed limit, speed. there's just a speed. Okay? So my that. motherboard at, I don't know why I put the equal sign, has a speed associated with it. N equals has a speed. Megahertz. Megahertz. Okay? That's the speed that information moves around the bus. Okay? What does this CPU have speed rated in? Gigahertz. What's faster? The CPU or the motherboard? CPU. Okay, CPU way faster. Okay? Way faster. So way faster. this is way faster. Way faster. Okay. So if this has got a speed of I'm gonna give you a, a, a speed of eight hundred megahertz. Okay? Has a speed of eight hundred megahertz, which by the way, sit I put equal. I don't know why. S <laughs> why it syncs to the memory. Okay? The motherboard the motherboard and that what? Do you have too much coffee this morning? I did have one cup. Okay, so <laughs> the motherboard and the memory go at the same speed. They sync up. Okay, the motherboard and the memory. But there's still only one speed in effect on this motherboard at any one time. Okay, so on the motherboard, there are two routes. There's the north route and there's the south bus route. All the rich kids are on the north route. It's faster. Mr. Poole, you just said they go the same speed. Yes, you're right. I did just say they go the same speed, but the north route is faster. But how can the north route be faster if they're going the same speed? Here's how. It's a bus route. Okay? You guys are the poor kids. You're all on the south route. You guys are the rich kids. You're on the north route. Okay? How can they get to me faster if the bus stop, if the bus is going the exact same speed? Less stops. Less stops. Right. There's only two stops on the north route. There's only two things in the north route, and those are the video card and the memory. Because those are the important two people <laughs> that I've got to get back to me the boring. fastest, okay? So the CPU has its own route you can be the to Yay. memory and the video card. Those the things mouse. need to get back to me really, really, really fast. But they all go the same speed, Mr. Poole. So then I only got two stops. I got the good colored bus. Painted bus. Well then. Yeah. And then you've got Casper down the bottom. Bus. Casper. Okay. Maybe on I the like north Casper route. better. Okay. I've only That's got two on people route. getting on the bus Casper on the north route. Good. There's only two stops. The, C the north and route goes to memory, video, CPU. Yeah, memory, good. video, CPU. And it goes the same speed as the south and route. The south route is where everybody else is on. <laughs> everybody about. else. Memory, and these are examples, network card, sound card, mouse, keyboard, hard drive, C CD-ROM, USB devices, everything that connects up to the mother, everything that talks to the CPU that isn't video card and memory is on the south roof. So yes, the data moves at the same speed, but here's the thing, the bus is this, uh, a limited size. So if it has more stops, but it can only hold so much, once it's filled with kids, it just says, sorry, I'll get you next time. Okay? <laughs> it goes around, it goes around, it drops off its load at the CPU, and then it comes back around the bus route. Okay? So we don't add more buses, 
we just make them come back up. And so if I got stuff so and I come around here and Nico's got out. stuff, I go by and I go, sorry. And I drop off my stuff at the CPU and then I come back around. And then I go come all the way back around, go on the same speed, can't change the speed. And then I pick up Casey and then I drop off my stuff over here. Okay. Sorry. You get my idea? <laughs> Even though the bus can go at a, this speed, can only hold so much information. You need to get like an actual video recorder. Well, that I way know. you're not recording the board, you can record you. And I don't want me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get my we'll picture. So end up on YouTube. On the north route, there are only two bus stops. On the south route, there's however many bus stops there are information coming to the, the tablet. back to the CPU. Yeah, as you say, just do it in math. You can videotape as long as it doesn't have sound. You can just watch him in his crazy face. <laughs> I don't make crazy faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a uh, very simplified, <coughs> extremely simplified version of what the buses are. But did I stick it in your brain at all? No. What? The idea of my picture and my nope. it didn't help graphics at all. <laughs> is to help you understand. Graphic. Stick it in your brain. Okay. So CPU is where everything needs to get. I got two roots. You two quit playing squiggly hands or whatever you're doing. Okay, I got the video and the memory on the north bus route because they're the most important two students I have. And then I got well everybody then. else. Now on we the know south how you feel route. about us. Yeah. South bus route. Okay. So it has a finite speed. It's another more boring graphic of the same thing. Okay. Then I've got two theoretical routes. It's not like there's really, you know, they were called the north and the south bridge. It's not like means one of them is north and one of them is south. And, you know, they intermix kind of on here. But if I'm sure if you followed something around here, there would be something that came here and then over to there. Or spend a few hours trying to follow wires if you want to. So I got the video card of memory on the north. And I got everything else on the south. So if I give you a question on the test and I said, the hard drive talks to the CPU on the blank bus. Wow. South bus. South. Okay. You think or the hard drive South Bridge north. is what it's called. Okay, so it's the South Bridge, but it's the bus. So I use those two synonymously, meaning I'm interchangeable. So, okay. So I've got two chipsets that control those the North and the South chipset. The North chipset, because it's always handling more information, heats up and it's got a heat sink. The south one usually does not. It normally doesn't handle information that fast. Okay, so if I look at any of these, you're gonna have one with the heat sink and one without. One with the heat sink and one without. On a really, 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 really cool gamer board, you might see heat sinks on both. But you're still gonna see a difference in the heat sink. The better heat sink that you see is on the north bus run. Okay, why does the north handle more traffic? Why does it handle more traffic? Because that uh, has the two most load-bearing ones. Okay, it has the two most load-bearing. Who, who's, well, who's the only person that the CPU really only talks to? Uh, the memory. Okay, really it only talks to memory. Okay, really that's the only, okay, there's actually a memory controller that sends stuff out to the video card. Really remember when it's, when it's saving stuff, it's, here is the primary action going on on your PC. Every time it reads and writes and it's processing stuff, it's talked to memory. So there's there's a boatload of movement going on here and, and less going on here. If I have a CPU that's 3.2 gigahertz and a bus that's 800 megahertz, what is my one problem I see on this computer? And this is a normal computer, by the way. Okay? What do I have? I have a bottleneck. Bottleneck. The CPU thinks of stuff, and it goes and it wants to talk to its buddy Ram, and dang it, if that bus ain't full. And I'm waiting for it to come back around empty so I can send some stuff over there to Ram. Okay? Now the bus can be different sizes. We have short buses and long buses. <laughs> okay? The short bus is a 32-bit bus, and the long bus is 64-bit bus. Okay? This one's twice as big as this one. Okay? Windows XP, every single operating system we've got 
almost, in this school, works on 32-bit architecture. So in other words, we're all on the short bus. bus. <laughs> okay? The newest, the newest, newest one, and I'll, I'll be honest, most of the computers can handle 64. It's up to the CPU whether so the CPU So you put us on short buses. I put you on the short bus because <laughs> Windows XP was made to be a 32-bit operating system. Okay? The newest one, Windows 7, is really made to be a 64-bit, but it still does 32-bit. So it's just 209 and 64. No. no. It's 32 bit as well. Really? It's 32 bit Windows 7. Stacy's confused. Okay? That's because she wrote The operating calls. system that I installed. No, I'm not confused about this. No. no. He's confused. Why did that just start printing? Because Mr. Alexander prints to me now. The only oh. He upgraded his operating system uh, for his Mac, and there are no drives. drivers available for the other printers. That's the only printer in the school that he's got a driver for. So it's the only one he can print to anymore. So he will show up here in a minute looking for his printer. So, yes. Good answer. Everyone has said drivers. Yay. Did I remember him before? I did. Yeah. Are you speaking? Okay. So I've got, I've got short buses. I've got long buses. The newest stuff uses the long bus. 64 bit can hold each bus as it comes by, can hold twice as much information. Okay. That's the advantage of the 64 bit operating system, and both things have to go together. I have to have hardware that does 64-bit, and I have to have software that does 64-bit for it to do 64-bit. None of the operating systems that we have, Windows XP was a 32-bit operating system. So we're all working on the short bus. Which is one of the reasons Windows 7 might work faster on some systems if they handle the bigger bus route. However, then you have software problems. Okay. Where was I? You already did that. I already talked about what a bus does. What's on board boards, cancers, and random slots. Oh, and the other thing was expansion slots. So we've got a bunch of different kind of expansion slots available on a motherboard. Okay? And as you look at motherboards for your project that we're going to talk about tomorrow, we're on time, I think I'm almost done, we're going to need to make sure you understand what those different slots are. Okay, so of these, that one, that one, are the main two that are still around today. PCI. This is the PCI, which stands for, stands for PCL. peripheral. <laughs> there he is. Component. Enter, enter, connect. Okay, PCI stands for peripheral component interconnect. What does a peripheral mean? What is peripheral? Some Extra stuff things. on the outside, right? Stuff that isn't here. It's not on my motherboard, it's stuff on the outside, okay? A component is a part, okay? So, Outside part connector doohickey, okay? It's called a PCI slot. Now, on a current motherboard, what is the interconnect. Now, what did I just do there? Okay, so peripheral component interconnect. In other words, outside part plug in the spot. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> okay, so PCI, that's what we said. There's a, now, on these, there's three different kinds of PCI slots because they couldn't just leave one alone, okay? So these white ones are PCI, okay? That's a PCI slot. That's PCI. The little tiny one, one. is PCI 1, okay? The really big one? PCI X. Oh, you okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got of the PCIs. I got PCI. I got PCI one, and I got P PCI X. Okay. The X is for my PCC. I think it later. At least it is a PCI X. Okay. And of the X, you can see X eight or X sixteen. By the way. Okay. Could have a number on the end of it. Extreme. These are normal slots. PCIs are my normal slots that I can go and buy 
a extra network card, and I can plug in my extra network card. Dropping stuff on myself, and it just plugs right in, and voila, I got a new network card. Okay, my modem cards, most things are PCI. PCI one is new. It does the same. Uh, PCI one is new. It does the exact same thing as PCI. You just have to find a part that plugs into PCI one. Just smaller. Just smaller. Does the exact same thing as PCI. It takes up less space. I can shut those in and store capacitors behind them. I don't know why we came up with PCI one. I'm sure there's some kind of reason. PCI X. These take video cards. Is PCI one slower or faster? I, I, it's newer. <laughs> it should be like PCI. In other words, Mr. Poole doesn't know. I don't know the answer to that. In fact, on this chart that came to the thing, PCI 1 isn't even on the chart. Well, way okay. to go. PCIs were all 64 or 32-bit buses, okay? And that's where the expansion came. Maybe PCI 1 is a 64. Okay? PCI X are 64 or 32-bit bus. Depends on what you have. In other words, I can get more stuff. I can't. If I've got a PCI, no matter what, even if I got a long bus, I can only get a short bus number of people on it. There's going to be some empty seats. Okay? Because it's a 32-bit item. Okay? So all these other ones, USBs down here, those are expansion slots that we can use. The ISI, ISA stood for Industry Standard Architecture. I don't have anything with an ISA slot. Those have gone. So as EISA, okay? AGP, this one has an AGP, this brown port, stands for advanced graphics port. At one point it was the advanced graphics port. Now it's the old graphics port because PCI X, X took hold. Okay. Extreme! Extreme! Okay. And this is why we need a video tape class. No. Okay, so I think I'm at the end of my. Oh, and here's a little picture. I, 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 I'm not going to ever give you this, by the way. I won't give you this picture and say, which kind of card is this? Which? But they have different, oh, all those different things have different plugs that go in to the bottom of them as well. As well. They all go in the same way. And like I said, ISA doesn't really exist anymore. AMR doesn't exist anymore. We've just got PCI, PCI1, and PCI X slots. Okay. So here's our PCI Express. There's one, and the other one's down here. PCIe is for enhanced, it's still a PCI slot, okay? And there's our PCI 1, right there, right there, I can barely see it. And here's our regular old PCI slot. So I'm going to say that the PCI 1 probably are 64 bit slots. That's probably why they came in. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> yes. And there's the bus. Look, the bus. I already showed you the bus. The bus is all the stuff going around the bottom of the thing. And there's an old motherboard. And oh, we didn't get to this. Ah. Oh, that's that was review. And then we're gonna talk about the motherboard project. So we'll get to that next time. Mr. Holston. What?